Hi, welcome to Spice Up Your Blog. This is Paul Crow here, the author of Spice Up Your Blog. And in this video, we're going to look at how you can use the custom fonts from the Google from the Blogger Template Designer on custom Blogger templates. And what I mean by this is, if you're using a template that's from the Template Designer that Blogger added last year, 2010, um, you have the option to click the Template Designer um, link in your that in your design page and go into the Template Editor. And by simply clicking on any of the custom fonts, you can choose from 77 fonts, handwriting fonts and font style fonts, and you can click save and they're on your blog straight away. Whereas if you're using a custom template, this will be a template you'll have downloaded online from one of the template sites, one of the template galleries. Um, if you're using this, you don't have that option within the template designer editor. Okay, and I'm going to show you exactly what I mean. So I have this test blog set up, which is using a template from the template designer. And this is the design page for that for that blog. And if I click template designer, you'll notice there's a, a number of options over the left hand side. If I click advanced, I'll get the option to edit different parts of the blog. I'm going to click blog title. And down here I can choose the font. We have some of the more regular fonts, but when I go down along, you see there are some more custom fonts, some handwriting fonts, and so on. And you can just click on any of those click save and they're on your blog. I have another test blog set up here which is using a custom blogger template. This is a template that's been downloaded online and I have the design page open for this template for this blog. If I click template designer and then click advanced you will notice I have none of those options here and that's because it's a custom template and the coding is different and it's not set up to work with the template designer. And so obviously you want to use some of these cool fonts on your blog when you're using a custom template and that's exactly what I'm going to show you in this video is how to do it. Now if you're watching this on, on YouTube or elsewhere there's a link in the description to go to a post that it will go along with this video and you really should have the post um, there while you're looking at the video that will help you along and I'll have the tags and so on that I mentioned within the video in the post so you can easily get them. Okay so let's go back to Blogger here and go with the steps to choose a custom font and then add it on our blog okay now I have some of the steps set up just really quickly here so we can follow them as we go along in the video okay so the first one I have here step one is go to Google web fonts I'll have a link for that in the post but let's just go to Google homepage here and just search for Google fonts and there it is Google web fonts I want to click onto that and when we come in here we get a directory a list of fonts they have available and they have lots and lots of them in all different sorts and styles some very cool ones so let's go up and choose this one here font diner swanky so what we do is once we're here and we, we decide we want this font we just click on it and on the right hand side here you'll see use this font so let's click that okay now that those steps put out here choose the font you want to use from the list and click on it and click on the use this font link which we've just done. So around it we have the use this font link clicked and when we come down we see two snippets of code right here. Okay so in my little list here I have copied the first snippet and pasted it directly below the head tag. Okay so it's basically this tag here which is the opening head tag. Copy. So we're going to go back to the design page here and we're actually going to click edit HTML to get through to our blog's HTML. And we don't need to click the expand widget template, you can leave that. And we want to find the head tag. Now I know it's actually right at the very top, but just for the sake of the video, what I always do at this stage if I'm looking for code is I use a small search bar by clicking and holding control, this control button, and pressing F, and you see the search bar pop up down the bottom. And that just makes it much easier to find code. And if I paste in the head tag that I just copied, control V, you'll notice it's actually at the very top and it highlights it there for me. Okay, so uh, we have found that tag, that's the head tag right there, and in our little list here it says copy the first snippet of code and direct, place it directly below the head tag. So this is the first snippet of code here. So let's copy that. Make sure you have it all. Copy it. We go back and we want to paste it directly below the head tag. Okay. Now there's a very important step here. Um, 
for some reason when this code has been created it's actually been left open and I mentioned it here in the steps it says uh, note you must add a forward slash to the end of the code as shown below but I can just show you back here so basically we have to close the tags if I try and save the template now it'll tell me that the, the link must be terminated must be ended by a closing tag which is here so make sure you do this now all you have to do, I don't have any comments telling me that you got that message because I'm showing you now all you have to do is click in here right at the very end and just put in a forward slash like so just right at the very end put in a forward slash and that's okay now it will save and your template will save okay so that's the first snippet of code added we now head back and have a look, look at our, the next steps copy and paste the second snippet of code and paste it directly below the closing skin tag so we're going to copy this first of all and we're going to find that within our template so let's go back to our template let's click Control F again for our search bar Control V to paste in our code and it jumps right down to the piece of code we're looking for let's scroll up so we have a bit of room let's click that again just to highlight there it is and as we said just the next snippet of code goes directly above that closing tag so let's make a little bit of room for it okay so let's go back to Google Fonts. This is the second snippet of code right here. So I'm going to copy it. Go back to my template and place it directly above the closing skin tag. Okay, now it says here you now need to change the H1 within the code to set where the font will be used. Okay, and this will change depending on the template you're using. Um, and in a way the best way to get around it is just trial and error um, very few blogs actually have h1 as their, their blog title um, so what we're going to do is let's just do trial and error let's save it as it is h1 and see what happens and you can just do the very same thing save it as h1 let's refresh our blog and we notice that the post title has changed so that's actually that post title is now using that font so we now know that the post title is down as a h1 and um, the hidden tags in your blog will include your blog title your post title and your sidebar titles also your footer titles and so on and um, even the comments titles maybe maybe hidden tags but the main three will be your post title your blog title and your sidebar titles so we've saved the hate as h1 and our post title has changed so if you were looking for your blog title and not your post title to change we will go back down to where we added it the h1 so we go back down to the closing skin tag and we change that to h2 so let's change to h2 and see let's save our template let's refresh our blog and this time the sidebar titles have changed as you can see here so this is back to normal and these have changed so now we know our sidebar is using a h2 tag a hidden 2 tag you don't have to worry about what that is or how it works or whatever you can just play around with the code edit h1 h2 h3 h4 to find which ones but let's say we don't want our sidebar we want our blog title we've tried h1 and h2 and neither of those were our actual blog title so we have it here let's change it to h3 and let's save our template go back to our test blog and refresh and that's it we found our blog title is using a h3 tag and what you can do is you can use different fonts you can use a font for your blog title we now know that a h1 will be our post our titles and a h2 will be our sidebar titles so let's just quickly go in here and let's say we want to have a different font again we've, we've changed here we have our blog title using the I forget what the name of that font was something swanky we haven't used that font let's say I want to use a different font now on my post titles we know that our h ones wasn't it so let's go back in let's go back to the fonts let's click the heading here let's grab a different font um, scroll down along one that will stick out let's grab this this one here sniglet and let's just do the whole process again use this font scroll down get the first piece of code copy it back to our template add it below the head tag so let's control F in head 
It's highlighted for me there. Place that below it. We can see here's the other one we just added. And what did we have to do? We had to add the forward slash. Very important. Let's add the forward slash. Let's find our skin tag. I'm just going to do this really quickly so we can get through it. Let's go down here. There's the H3 where we've had the font diner swanky font. Let's grab the second section of code and copy that. Go back and paste it in there. We want it to be H1 because we now know that H1 is our, our post titles. So let's save. Go back to our blog. Refresh. And there you go. We're using that font now for our post titles. And we know if we want to add one for our sidebar titles, we just change H3. Now on your blog, your blog title could be a H2. Your post titles could be a H3. If you just play around with those, it'll take you a couple of minutes and I'm sure you'll figure it out. As I say, all the tags that we found there and that we worked with will be in the, the post, if you have a look at the post um, on Spice Up Your Blog. And that's basically how you can use any of the fonts that are in the Blogger Template Designer on non-Blogger Template Designer or custom Blogger Templates. And thanks for watching the video.